morning y'all welcome to another week of my life vlog this week is gonna be really fun we're doing a full five days so hopefully this vlog is long friday i'm going to austin got a lot of stuff going on here this week so i'm excited to get my hair redone lots of things just getting my coffee it's monday morning i think it's like 7 45 i'm about to head off to go weightlifting i have a checkup today for my um in sculpt appointment and it's basically just to like take the before and afters and i will say like in sculpt is that thing where i like, put the machines on my body and then it like contracts your like whatever muscle group you're at um 20 000 times so it's like 20 000 sit-ups 20 000 squats whatever so i did six sessions on my arms and on my legs and i did in sculpt neo so it burns fat and builds muscle and i will say it's helped me so much in um weightlifting because i've definitely gotten stronger and then now i'm like lifting a lot more um, and I definitely feel like more defined. I think of like anything I've ever done, like just like the random stuff I get invited into, um, and Sculpt has made like the biggest difference, if not like one of the biggest differences. So, here we go. If y'all are new here, subscribe. I'm just in a vlogging mood this week. I'm very excited. Okay guys, I got quickly dressed for the day. I'm wearing my new hat that launches this week, so it's out by now. Find me in Texas, camo trucker, it's beautiful. I got a little bit of Starbucks, like a snack, um, very quickly because I was in such a rush. I just, and I'm on my way to my appointment. So today, there's a lot of things happening at my house. Um, I have like couch cleaners coming, the coconut cleaning people, I love them. If y'all are in Dallas, I think they're in actually other places, but I have a crazy coat too, so I'll put that on the screen, or actually I'll put them in the description box. It's um, the best stuff ever, but I'm doing that. My deck is finally getting stained. I know I've said that in the past like three or four vlogs. It was supposed to get stained this weekend too, I did it. They call me and they're coming today. So that's happening. You know when you're just like having like a flop did not flop but like i need a facial so bad i need dermaplaning that's happening tomorrow um hair wash day you know here we are but it's gonna be a good week anyways here's the hat it's perfect guys i did it again if you remember like probably two months ago i was at this exact same place someone had the same car as me and i walked in it and i sat there and i was like why is there like terry black's like a cup in here like i love it but like i didn't get that today so I thought someone got into, broke into my car. Turns out I broke into their car. Anyways, I walked out just now because it's literally the exact same car next to me. And I was like, wait, the floorboard. I got my car washed yesterday. So I was like, when did the floor get so dirty? And then I was like, oh. So anyways, I have to leave here immediately and never show my face ever again. It's later in the afternoon. I just took a shower and I have been getting some work done. I went to Starbucks again to get a pumpkin cream cold brew and this one's actually good. You know when you get like a bad pumpkin cream cold brew and it just is so upsetting? So I'm getting some work done. Um, I think the week that you guys are watching this, the podcast has rebranded officially. So I'm working on that stuff. The new name is House Guest. Here's a new podcast cover art. I'm very excited about it, but I'm just working on some podcast stuff. I'm scheduling out episodes for the rest of the year, um, new guests, things like that. So if you guys have um, any sort of requests, people you wanna see, especially like Dallas-based or like my real life friends, I'm not looking to do like entrepreneur type episodes really. I'm trying to do like more fun, like me feels like you guys are in like the living room with me. Um, so yeah, you guys can just leave a request below or let me know what your favorite episodes are so I have like some sort of a gauge for it. I'm wearing my old Roboting Housewife like merch. I wore, I have like five of these sets because I have every single size. I wore it yesterday. Oh, yesterday was like the perfect Sunday. We, Macy and I went on a walk on the trail and then I came home, I made chili. We had some friends over. We watched the game, the Cowboys won. Um, and then my friend Liz came over last night and we just like hung out and talked all day And it was like so nice to actually do something on Sunday because I feel like I've just been like rotting on Sundays And like I at least want to rot with people so I think that's gonna be something new in my fall routine, you know I has finally been stained and it looks so much better like the color. Oh my god It's actually beautiful it Took them two seconds to do too, but it looks amazing so all my furniture is like over here. So I'm gonna have to 
somehow move that tomorrow. I think I might be able to do it myself. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, the, the grass is kind of coming back. It's not looking too great. So we'll figure that one out eventually. But it looks so good. Ideally, I'd put my little um, like fire pit in this back corner, but the issue um, is that there's a sprinkler head there and I don't really want to get that moved, so we'll see. It is truly a Monday. I just made some leftover chili. It's now like 7 p.m. Guys, Glam Squad sent me flowers. So Glam Squad's now in Dallas, um, and I think you can use code Kinsey, and you either get 15% off or 20% off, depending on if you're a first-time user or not. Um, but it's like at home hair makeup. They do like blowouts and nails. I love them I use them in LA um, and now they're here. So that's awesome So I finished work and then I spent the past like hour reading. I'm reading the what is the book? It's like I could never remember what I'm reading the knock em out series That's what I'm reading the third book in it first book. I love second book did it third book I'm really liking this one I'm at like 60%, I feel like I'll finish it today. Um, it's cozy and gloomy out. I got a lot done though today, so that's good. Lots of house things happened too. Not that I like did them, but they happened, you know? to go to Hot Pilates this morning. I have Coconut's checkup for her physical therapy. She heard me. I don't know what we're gonna do. She is slightly getting better, so I don't know if they're gonna say like, let's just give her a good life in her wheels or on her wheels, or if they're gonna say, let's keep trying, because that's kind of what this appointment is today. I'm truly good either way. We have gotten used to this wheelchair. She's actually happy and fine. If you guys don't know my dog, my smallest one has IVDD. She woke up in March without the use of her back legs. I have been heartbroken, but honestly, just over time, it's gotten so much easier. We've gotten used to it and like taking care of her. And she's a lap dog anyways. Sorry if I'm talking about this again and you guys have heard this so many times just in case I always get questions when I bring it up. Like, she's not active. Like, all she wants to do is like be like near you. She can still move around and stuff. Um, and yeah, so I don't know, We're, we've definitely made the best of it. It's been a learning experience for sure. Um, so yeah, I don't know if they're gonna say, let's keep doing PT and acupuncture, or if they're gonna be like, it's just time to, you know, figure it out. Or to just, you know, have her live her life on wheels, which I'm doing what they tell me to do. So either way, it works for me. My morning essentials right here and we're going oh natasha also bray moved to dallas so i'm getting lunch with her and then um macy and i are recording an episode today on j names if you guys haven't watched the j name episode you have to i'll link it um and it's like this crazy story of essentially macy getting ghosted in like the worst way ever by this guy it's really funny um the episode's funny not what happened but i decided the other day i was like we need to record an episode where we're giving a voice to the voiceless aka y'all and have y'all leave voicemails of your stories of being victimized by Janie. so um we're recording that today and then tonight i have a dinner rest for this eight so anyway it's gonna be a good day um my set is from story i love their stuff i like their simple stuff i'm not really like a printed girl but um this is just always the softest material. It's always just so good. For the day, I don't know if anyone else feels like this sometimes, especially when like seasons are transitioning, but I just like don't even remember like what I wear. So I want to find a cute outfit. Like I threw this on and these pants, like they're too big on me. They're from Daily Drills. I like them, but like they don't fit anyways, but I just like don't have a ton of like comfy pants that are just like easy every day. Like I have ones from Macy's that I love, but they're a little bit too like dressy. I don't know. Anyways, I wore this to Coco's appointment. Good news is they're seeing actual like major progress, so we're keeping up. We're not giving up on our girly. Um, and yeah, we are gonna be back in PT and acupuncture and all the things. She's definitely improving. I did kind of figure we were gonna continue because I feel like she's shown a lot of improvements. 
Um, so I wasn't really that stressed this morning. I was just like giving a warning that that might be the case. And I also don't want to get my hopes up like too much. Um, but anyways, I'm getting ready right now. We're gonna go to lunch with Natasha. I need to like do a couple more things before I leave, but I also was like, what to put on a cute outfit? Like, is that too much to ask for, you know? By the way, the way that I've been curling my hair when I curl it myself, like when I actually style, I don't mean like when I curl it myself, I mean like when I actually do my hair, which is rare, because I am lazy and I just throw it up. It's this Baby Bliss Pro, and I think this is the one and a half inch curling hour. This is the one my sister uses, she's a um, hair stylist too. I have like multiple different sizes of this and I don't know how that happened. I think I lost it and then I bought another one and then I ordered, I don't really know what happened. But anyways, this is the one that I like. I curl my hair, I leave it be, then I do my makeup and then I just brush it out. It never looks good, as good as when obviously someone else does it, but it will do. And then I just did my makeup and I'm just so ready for my hydrofacial tomorrow. I also need my brows done. We're gonna buy a cute outfit. It's the last thing I do. Okay, so I'm thinking, I've been taking my Pinterest um, a little more seriously. I don't know why I said it that way. I've been pinning again on Pinterest. Like, why does everything have to be that for me? But I think I just need to like almost make a vision board of outfits and things that I want to wear just so I will remember when I'm actually getting dressed. Cause there's, I have like taste in stuff of like what I like and what I want to wear. And then I'm like, wait, I forgot. And I, if there's no excuse, look at where I'm standing. Like it's embarrassing. It really is embarrassing. So I've got to figure that out. Um, oh, you know what? This top could be cute with like a skirt, like a really girly skirt and boots, you know, and just like dress it up. I like outfits where it like doesn't necessarily like look like it goes together. Like this, my pink frilly skirt, boots. There we go. Okay, I think this is gonna be it. After the scene I just caused, trying on so many different outfits, I'm wearing the most basic outfit that I could possibly wear. A white t-shirt, jeans, a belt, and ballet flats, okay? I just have so many outfit ideas and things that I wanna wear, but I feel like A, I either am missing like one crucial piece of the outfit, or B, it's just not cold enough yet. So I'm actually gonna make it a goal in the next like, Honestly, maybe even next week, Monday or Tuesday, going through my entire closet, especially the fall stuff, and just like moving it out. I know it's not gonna be cold enough for a little bit longer, but I would like to get ahead of it because I've got so many things. I did go through this recently, and I have more bags for donations, but I just need to go through like the entire closet and do like a really, really big clean out. So, but I also need to organize my pantry and I also need to organize my bathroom, but we'll eventually get to that. So anyways, I've been using this bag a ton. I know I talked about this, but I keep switching back into it just because of the browns that I'm wearing. Um, but I'm getting a little bit of work done and then head off to Hudson House. I went to Hudson House last week, but the lover's location was Claire Koo Smith. And then this week I'm going with Natasha. I'm really making myself get out during the week and like go be social or like see someone or whatever. Just because I spend all my days alone basically working. I'm sure like most of y'all do too, if you work or mill. And I just think it's important to get out and see the world. You know what I mean? <sighs> Guys, I'm wearing juicy tracksuit pants for the first time in so long. I forgot how comfortable these are. I'm back from lunch with Natasha. It was really fun. This mirror has been here since our dinner party. And like, it's not supposed to be here. And I don't know why I haven't just simply moved it down the hallway. This is gonna take me maybe 20 seconds. The house feels like fall, smells like fall. Oh. The mirror is back in its place. So I am going to do a living room refresh probably next month. I know, I know, another house project, okay? But like, this is what I'm passionate about in life these days. But I do need to um, do my dimensions and stuff and just measure this entire room, which is like the least fun part of doing this stuff. So I'm gonna do that. I was gonna get us 
pumpkin cream cold brews for recording. But Macy didn't really sound like she wanted one. So I might just make coffee from home. She's gonna be here in like an hour to record and I need everything set up. So I'm gonna do this really quick and then I'm gonna download all of our voicemails so we're ready to go. Making some coffee about to record. I'm calling Dom, she's not answering me. My first juicy tracksuit of the season. Your call has been forwarded to an It's literally so rude. Uh, I need her help because I want to do that trend. Like in your life, you'll do things greater than dating the boy of the football team. I want to do that trend, right? But I need her to tell me what I should do because I can't remember all the dumb things I've done. Also, like, I don't know. Sometimes I like, don't like doing those trends because I look so prideful. Oh, guys, like, I don't want them to think that I'm thinking of them. But they don't understand it to the bed. I say as we're literally about to record another episode of the Jay situation. That's different because it's a bit, okay? Okay, coffee number two of the day, but I didn't even finish coffee number one, so it doesn't really count. Macy did not care about a pumpkin cream cold brew. It's very out of character. She's changing that girl. She's changing. I don't even know who she is anymore. I really don't, but I just touched on my makeup a little bit, I feel like. Um, it didn't really stay well, so I don't know. I think it's, I keep saying this, I think I just need a facial and that will like reset it, you know, and maybe I should like wash my makeup brushes and stuff today or tomorrow. Um, but the deck is done. I just went out to clean my pool and do all of those things. I just do an entire TikTok of like my like maintenance routine on the house. Not maintenance, but like I don't know how I make it cute, but like all the like random things that I do. I love like when I water the plants and do that stuff, you know what I mean? Like house maintenance. You know how they're like clocking in, clocking out of like your house, like night shift, whatever. Anyways, um, I'm filming TikToks until Macy gets here, which will be in about 25 minutes, and I just recorded, or I downloaded all of the um, voicemails, and this episode's gonna be so funny, so I'm really excited. I have so many flowers. I've been getting so many flowers lately. Just love that. Here we go. I'm just in like such a good mood. It's fall, juicy couture. Oh my God, I can't wait. We've been talking about having the fall mall day, so I'm gonna talk to you about that today too. Like, the second it's cold, I'm gonna call every girl that I know and be like, meet me at the mall. Like, that's what we're doing, you know? Mm. Macy, so how did you feel about the episode? Um, sorry, just getting a little TikTok clip. Um, I felt good. Yeah. That's not very convincing. Like, no one's gonna want to listen to it now. Oh. We just why? Promo. Why were you like so hesitant? Well, I'm just like kind of over men. Like, if anything, I was just like, oh my god, like everyone's so stupid. Yeah, it was kind of because I just kept being like, these guys are such idiots. Yeah. But no, but it was a good app. Yeah, it was good. We just it had to just give made a voice. Me realize, to like how insane, not insane, but like stories that people are actually like. Uh, it's just men are so insane. Like when men they, are. When are so they gonna insane. stop? When can they? Hey, can they try again tomorrow? tomorrow? <laughs> can I try again tomorrow? tomorrow? I think it needs to be like when two souls collide. When two. We're captioning Macy's TikTok. When she, she had like a, a, it's like a really powerful dance. Like I came back into the kitchen, she was dancing, and it was just like being friends with Macy is like exactly what you would think being friends with Macy is. Yeah. Like you just walk into your kitchen and she's doing like an interpretive dance. Like a, an intense one. Really intense. <laughs> Did you have that planned or what? When two souls collide, I told you that's it. Just that. Just that. That's <laughs> it. Just that. Yeah. I mean, because what? What else would you say? That's what happened. Like. <laughs> yeah. Like. <laughs> What else happened? Guys, yeah. I just did an insane duet with Jake Shane. And it's like really stunning. Like it's a really good, it's a good one. I'm going to dinner tonight with Lauren at The Saint. So um, I'm not gonna vlog it on YouTube because I'm vlogging it on TikTok. So if you guys are interested, it's just like a Dallas place. Um, and I'm trying to get my post up before I leave, but it's not really, oh, here we go, finally. 
Isn't that nice? Well, my phone works. Is anyone else's phone like all of a sudden not working? Like not to be like one of those like Apple conspiracy theorists. No, but mine. Oh, so my phone. Like conspiracy theorist. My phone support. decided to just say like no SIM card. Mm. Last week and it wasn't working. And I took it in. And he ran a oh, test. Oh yeah, that's so true. And he was like, yeah, you're having some bad hardware issues, all this stuff. But of course, the solution was getting a new phone. Classic. And I'm like, oh, sure. Sure. Also, guys, it took me two seconds to find my outfit today and then I'm wearing heels. When as we know earlier, it, it was like a whole ordeal. You know, it's easier to dress for night. It's hard to dress like daytime when it's not the weather you want. Also, you already went through like the worst of it, like picking out this morning, so you kind of have an idea of what you wanted. No, I didn't though. I just like went in and I just grabbed it. No, tonight, because it was like based off what you didn't like today. Like, you I already guess. went through the hard part. I guess, but... This is much better. Also, like, it's really easy when you're wearing kitten heels because it makes everything look better. That's it. I want to get some. The one, the, the one time I wore yours, I felt so amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. I have the same ones. I'll link them. I'm linking them right now. Um, from Sam Edelman. And I have them in black, in pink, in beige. And I need more. <laughs> I'm going to make that a TikTok, too. It's not funny. <laughs> that is so good. Everyone go comment on Maisie's TikTok that she has the skinniest waist and the fattest ass. Please. I'm going to listen to that song. Same. Okay, well, it's a real guys. We'll see y'all later. I'm gonna be a TikTok vlogger for the night. Guys, I honestly I did a TikTok vlog last week and I really loved it. Like, should I just vlog on TikTok? It's so fun. Like, I actually really liked it. Like, when you treat it as a YouTube vlog, like That's you film saying. talking to the camera. I don't know, but then I'm like a YouTube girly, you know? I love my YouTube channel. I don't know. I don't know. My grandma's coming over tomorrow and we're planning for the garden. So fun. So, this week my backyard will be done or the pool will be done. Garden planning. Lots of things are happening. So much. House updates. Oh, sorry for the flash, but it's so cute. I got this is some margarita. Well, I got the Forbidden Kingdom. Oysters, we love oysters. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday morning. I'm really excited for today because of the garden and everything else. I got some packages outside of clothing. I'll show you. I'm about to head out. So I'm going to the PBR very soon. I'm going with First Class Cowboys with Kate Davis. And I'm so excited because I love Kate Davis. I love First Class Cowboys. And I love the PBR. And I love Fort Worth. So I've been getting potential outfits. I don't know if the skirt is going to fit yet just because it, there, you can't wear a belt. So we'll see. This denim on denim look with a First Class Cowboys hat. I ordered the chocolate brown, like not my first Rubio hat. And then I just ordered these because I saw them. And how exciting is it that we're ordering sweaters? This one I just am obsessed with. It's so stunning. Very Sophia Richie. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. H&M is the place to shop in the fall and the winter. They have such amazing stuff and you would never like, you wouldn't understand. Well, I thought you would never expect it, but like the quality is amazing. It's quality is great. So it's this sweater with this tie. So picture it like Sophia Richie esque Then I got just this really big pink oversized sweater, which is soft and cute and perfect. So anyways, I'm about to head out to go work out, drink my coffee, and there we go. My set is set active, by the way. Also these Reeboks that I've been wearing like, every day to work out, I love them. So good. I'm ice rolling. Guys, I don't, I mean, actually I do know exactly what it is, but I just haven't been eating as clean, I think. And I wake up like a blowfish. I've also been getting a lot of sleep. So those two things, you know, but I wake up and it's like, my face is round. <laughs> like it, it's like, I not my fave, but you know, whatever. I have my eyes rolling. I also ordered, I think it's coming this week. I think it's at least on the way. The new Skinny Confidential like body sculptor, which I like that so much more than the other things that I've seen. So hopefully I'll make that a routine doing it after the shower. Anyways, on my way to go weightlifting, that's pretty much it. I was just coming on here to complain about how I like a blowfish. I'm basically wearing pajamas right now, but I'm about to go get a facial today. It's like my ideal day. My grandma's coming over. I'm gonna go to Sprouts after. I'm gonna have a Hydra facial. Um, yeah, I'm just like really excited. Okay, I just got my facial. The only thing that sucks about getting a facial is that like, it takes all of your tanner off, but as you can see, my skin is just glowing now. And I also got dermaplaning, so they dermaplane my entire face, and it is so soft, and it makes your makeup go on so much better. I go to Dermani, Preston Hollow. I'm gonna mention my name, you got money off. But my grandma's coming over this afternoon. I decided I'm gonna make us some soup and have a fall afternoon. My 
Furniture was moved up on the deck while I was gone, so I'm gonna set up my umbrella today, and the pool area is going to actually, actually be done, which is very exciting. Um, but we're going to Sprouts, my favorite place ever. Just like, what a time. The pool is finally done, guys. I just set everything up. I didn't film it because I was just having some issues. Okay, are y'all ready? Ignore the water because it rained last night. Wow, it looks so good. So I am just gonna keep it at two chairs. I feel like it's fine. Um, I have other rafts and stuff like when I entertain and then I wanna do like beer pong and stuff. I don't know how much of that I'll be doing this year, but definitely like in the spring and summer. Um, even with like hot tubs and stuff like I'll be using this as a hot tub. I do need to get like a heater um, But I'm obsessed. So I got that umbrella today from article Actually the chairs are article the umbrella is article and then the table is Wayfair and it's just like an article knockoff then my pots are At home and they're really inexpensive that table was pretty inexpensive too. the article stuff um, article for what it is is very inexpensive compared to what it's worth, but it obviously it's not like a way fair price by any means I wanted to spend a lot less on those chairs But then I did but like I just couldn't get those chairs out of my head And I was like I know myself and if I buy the overstock ones I'll eventually buy these so I just decided to do it from the start But we're gonna have a little pool day this weekend and it looks so good This is such an exciting package to receive because y'all know I love Butcher Box. First off, this is my favorite olive oil. I ran out of one earlier today. Thank God I had a backup and now I have a backup for the backup. Love that so much. I love Butcher Box. I'm a paying member. I don't work with them. Um, this is like the first time like they just sent me like a nice PR package. This is so cute. Kenzie. It's a little apron that'll go great in my with my other aprons in my uh, hosting closet. We'll take that there in a second. And then, look at this. <gasps> Stop. Oh my God. Just, oh my God, it's so cute. Cast iron skillet. <gasps> wow, it's really nice. With the Ironware Company, this is very, very nice. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you. Okay, so my apron is going with all my other aprons in here. This is perfect for like grilling. It's really cute. I need to take the tag off. Oh my god, I love that. By the way, if y'all haven't seen the hosting closet recently, here it is. I honestly haven't seen it that much either because I've been gone. But actually, where have I even been? I haven't even been gone. I'm hosting a dinner very soon um, for fall. I feel like I'm going to end up using these again. Like these plates that I have from at home, just the basic white ones. I feel like it's so obvious, but they are definitely the crowd fave. And then I'll probably pull out like these glasses just mix and match, make it warmer. And I want to get different, at least placemats or something. I don't want it to be cheesy fall. I don't know. Well, I'll figure it out. I love like these, but we'll see. All right, it's like 6.30. My grandma left. The soup was really good. I will show you all the recipe right here and you can screenshot it. Put it in my recipe journal. By the way, we actually had some drama because I had a bunch of boxes on that counter. Okay, I have like SPF lip balm on. That's why it looks like that. Anyways, I had a bunch of boxes on that counter and I was like running throughout the house, just like moving stuff around, cleaning, whatever. And I threw my recipe journal, which my recipe journal is actually the sample. Like this ribbon is a different color because it's the sample. And I had a candle burning and I uh, caught on fire. So that could have been really, really bad. I'm gonna keep it regardless because it's a sample but it did catch on fire. So 
So I don't have any wall, which I needed to do a new one anyways because of the ribbon. I can just like transfer all my stuff over here, whatever, write it. So that's that. The soup was really good. We had a great time. We played out the garden. I think we're just gonna do three raised beds on that side. In an ideal world, I would love to like make the side yard look stunning, but it's like, at what point am I gonna stop doing so much of this? And like, yes, I do see myself in Texas like forever, but like, I'm only 26. Like I like, I never want to leave this house already. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Anyways, I did order new chairs and like tiki torches because I'm gonna do a little fire pit area in the other corner of the backyard. Can't take myself seriously with this lip balm on right now. It's the new LTMD stuff, but that fire pit right there is the fire pit that I'm gonna use. So that will be moved to the back corner and then I'm gonna get like gravel underneath it. Hopefully my brother-in-law can do that. Um, so we just sat, we had an afternoon of planning. We planned the garden. We, I can't wait for this room to be redone, but we planned the garden. We planned the other backyard stuff. We're also going to a needlepoint class. So I literally cannot with this lip balm. Um, it kind of looks like I got like lip injections because it looks like kind of purple, but I didn't. Anyways, um, I have some more work that I need to do. Um, so I'm gonna get that done and then I'm staying in tonight. It's Wednesday. Tomorrow and Friday, I'm gonna be gone out of my house. So it'll be a better vlog. We'll have like more things going on. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I went to Pilates early this morning and then I came back and I cleaned my pool. I was so gross after because now with the deck, I have to like go underneath the deck to do it. I only have to do that for like once a month, but so. So I'm currently getting ready and getting my hair done today. My sister has my hair in Dallas, Madison Piper hair. Um, she's really, really good. But I'm gonna get my hair done and work from the chair. And then I'm gonna go, it's kind of like a family day. I'm gonna go, what is happening? Meet up with my cousin to pick out a veil. I think she's thinking of her dress or doing a fitting or something. I don't know, she's getting married. Um, so we're gonna go do that. And then I'm gonna go to a little pop-up, potentially two pop-ups. And then we're going to a new sushi, sushi restaurant in West Village. So I'm gonna be gone like all day. I normally do not get ready at all for like going to get my hair done, but I was like, I might as well because I'm going places after. So getting ready. Also, I have found recently that Pillow Talk just like doesn't show up on my lips like at all. And I want a color, I think it's a little bit more brown. So what lip liner should I get? I really need to just go to the mall and try some, but I haven't gotten around to doing that. I also tried the Dr. Dennis Gross peels this morning. Felt like I like, shouldn't do them before putting makeup on, but um, I've heard so many good things about them. So hopefully this is good. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try out, I got, oh, I don't even know if I showed you all this. I got some Elta MD skincare products at the med spa yesterday. I haven't tried this yet, the Skin Recovery Night Mask. I have this lip balm, not realizing that it's like SPF lip balm, which you all saw yesterday, but that's good for the pool. So I'm gonna like collect a bag of like sunscreens and stuff to keep over there. Then the Elta MD UV Clear Tinted Face Sunscreen. I like this because glow screen, I love glow screen and I love my face to be glowy, but it's like my skin just gotten so oily and I use a lot of oil, so I feel like it's just been a little bit much. So I'm just trying out new things, even though like I'm a glow, glow screen girl so the day I die, I use that products every day for like five or six years. Um, and then I have the Ulta, Elta MD Skin Recovery Light Moisturizer. So I got these, I've heard really good things. So I wanted to try that out. I'm really loyal to like Curology. I love apostrophe too and um, primarily pure for skincare. Like that's really what I use. But I am kind of like all out of my primarily pure right now and I need to order new stuff. So anyways, um, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then get dressed and then we're off. I ordered Chop Shop for breakfast because I was just craving the sunrise drop. It's so good. Guys, I am officially pretending it's fall. Not that I haven't been the past couple of weeks, but this is my fall fit, okay? I'm wearing a dress, granted. Sweater is for people. I have this in two other colors and I got this one way too big because I like them oversized and I like one too big, but whatever. My dress is Princess Polly, just a good cute ruffle dress. I also have it in blue. Um, they're just like staple dresses in my wardrobe and I feel like I don't wear them enough now because I just feel like I've worn them. Anyways, my boots are Tacovas, and then I'm gonna wear my Louis bag that fits so much, including my vlog camera. My vlog camera's big. Um, so I just got my breakfast from Chop Shop. My appointment got pushed back like 30 minutes or 45. So I'm gonna get some work done in my office, eat my breakfast, and then we're gonna eat pumpkin cream cold brews. It is fall. This is the 
best breakfast, this Chop Chop Sunrise Wrap. I love this for breakfast, and then I always order Mendocino Farms for lunch. Not always, but if I'm ordering lunch, I order Mendo. Finishing my water from Pilates. Ah, I love this room. Okay, getting a lot of work done. It's very exciting because I'm doing my first influencer event in November for a friend of mine. Um, if you guys are one of my friends who would be invited to this right now, I haven't sent invites out. So anyways, I'm picking out some stuff. We're gonna do like a dinner party vibe. I really, really wanna do dinner parties for y'all. I think the way that I'm gonna end up doing it is partnering with a restaurant, selling tickets, so it's like a set meal. Um, and then, I don't know, I just think it'd be so cool. Like obviously I can't, I'm not doing it like at my house. I'm gonna need to like do it somewhere like public. Um, so yeah, that is in the works. It's definitely something I want to do. Ideally, I would do like a dinner party, like tour across Texas one week, but, um, I'm just planning some of that stuff and just like picking the decor. These are like actually like really cool, but I need my pumpkin cream cold brew. Okay, I'm about to go into my appointment. Pumpkin cream cold brew. Like when I'm vlogging, like that, that didn't even make sense. I'm going into my appointment. I have my pumpkin cream cold brew. It's actually a really good one. Okay, we're off. My hair is done. It took longer than I thought it was going to. I'm about to go into this pop-up. Um, but I just got a root melt, money pieces, and then a move up on my extensions. Feels a lot better. So I'm so hungry right now. Like, I just need food. Good morning, happy Friday, y'all. So last night I went to Nabo in West Village with my cousin Alyssa, and it was so good. Like. Apparently they like fly all the fish in from Japan and they have their own buyer so they don't go to like a market or something like that. I don't know, but it was really good when I posted it to my story. Like so many of y'all are replying being like, oh my God, that place is so good. I have passed by it so many times and I've never gone. Um, but I'm glad that we went. And then I came home last night, I tanned, I got some work done and I am, what, I don't know. What am I? I don't know. Seven right now. I have a workout at 8 30 and then I have to come home get ready really fast take some stories for Jacoba's and then um, I have a flight to Austin In Austin, I'm getting lunch with Dear Media. I have one recording and then I fly back Tonight this evening I land at like 8 and it's one of my best friend's birthdays So I'm going out with them. I'm missing the birthday dinner, but this was planned before I'm like one thing about me is that like I show up for everything like if I will schedule my life around like other people's like birthdays or whatever like months in advance I like no this was just planned after I'd already booked this and it's like a contracted uh, interview so it like literally kills me like I don't know other people it's like you're still going out like you're still going you're just missing the dinner but like it drives me up a wall because it's like my number one thing in life that I care about is like showing up so anyways I'm just gonna be forgetting that that's happening all day long um, but yeah, I have some things to, some things to do. I was gonna curl my hair for my workout today to just like have it style, but I think I'm just gonna wear it straight, you know? Like I think this is gonna be it. Okay, I just put on this 437 set, but for some reason, like, I don't know if I just like washed it wrong or what, it just like fits very different. I'm putting my hookahs on, which you're really not supposed to like weight lift in these. Yeah, that's why I always wear the Reeboks because they want like a flat shoe um, But like the Reeboks aren't right there, and I just I don't feel like going into the other room Even though I have to go into there anyways like my level of 
laziness right now. By the way, I got my pool um, vacuumed to work yesterday, but it needs to be vacuumed again. So I need to charge that. It just takes a couple of hours. Also, I guess I'll show you this after. Um, I put my shoes on. This dress, this is what I'm going to wear today. It's actually a deal. I'm doing it to Kova's, but they have a new like, dress collection. And look at how cute it is. Especially this, if you wear like a sweater over it in the fall. Like, it's just like so stunning. I'll probably throw a sweater on. I should probably pick that up now just so I'm ready. Um, oh, honestly, I wasn't planning on going all white, but... I was thinking like of a beige thing. I just love, obviously from my outfit yesterday, like a sweater over a dress. We'll see how this looks though because I feel like it might not be the vibe. But yeah, like I keep saying, my goal is to go through and like really clean out my fall stuff because I feel like I keep everything that are sweaters, but I need just the best of the best of my sweaters. And I just need to clean out. So maybe that'll be a next week thing. I really like it doesn't it never takes as long as you think it is. It's just the idea of it is like oh, awful. Last night was Thursday. Therefore it was self-tan night. Therefore I couldn't use my normal curology stuff to clear my skin. Therefore I'm still working out. How many why am I saying it like that? Like I know I'm just talking in a very annoying way. Um yeah. So all that to say, I have to wear makeup on a plane today too, because I'm flying to Austin and then back today. So two flights, granted only 40 minutes. I do not wear makeup on flights because it breaks me out. So it's gonna break out worse. Ugh. And then tonight when I get back, I land at eight. I'll be back here at like 8.30 probably. Um, and then I'm going out as I just told you guys. So I still have to be wearing makeup then. I also got these Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. I used one yesterday and I'm gonna keep it up and keep you guys posted on them. Um, they showed up in my house. I didn't buy them, but I think that these are what maybe Macy uses them So I know everyone in the world uses them But I kind of think Macy might use them and I've heard really good things. So I'm excited about that Um, I need like a really small little like work bag today Which I'm sure I have one. I just I can't find one that would make sense because I need to put like my laptop and my Kindle on there I wish I just had a laptop case that would do the job it's like common sense things that just don't click up there. I've been rushing to get ready in this dress. Like, it's never made me look more Texan. I'm obsessed. I need someone to help me zip it in the back, but I don't have time for that. So, we're just gonna have to make do. Maybe someone at JSX, okay? That's like where I'm at. And then I have this sweater because, like, I'll probably be cold on the plane or something. I probably, like, wearing it over would be, like, a little weird. We'll see. I don't know. Just, like, wrap it around kind of vibe. I need to leave basically now. We're going back to the airport. I'm back home. It's Saturday morning. So yesterday I was supposed to fly home last night. Wow, this smells so good. Strawberry, right? Strawberry peptide lip treatment from Maroon. Um, my flight ended up getting delayed. I was flying home to go to one of my like really good friend's birthdays. And then it got delayed and so I couldn't go. And then I got home and I was so tired and I did a TikTok vlog yesterday. And here's the thing guys, I know I'm a YouTube girl. I love YouTube, you know, whatever. Sometimes I just feel like I'm not good at it and I like, I just like get go through phases where I feel like I'm really good at vlogging when I'm not, and normally in the fall is like when I feel good, so it'll be coming. 
But I've been doing these like little TikTok vlogs and I love them. Like I vlog the same way that I do on YouTube, but like quicker. And I love them. So anyways, the, the viewer want more about yesterday. It's on Kids of the Text and on TikTok. But we're doing a little unboxing. And a lot of packages come while I was gone for six hours yesterday. So um, first one being Road. I made this order. I haven't tried. What have I not tried? Okay, no, I've tried the, oh my God, glazing fluid. And I really liked it. And this is the glazing milk and I wanted to try it because people are using it as skin prep and like I've got to figure out why my makeup looks so bad Like I've been looking at old photos of myself just like well not even on purpose I've just seen them and I'm like my makeup looks so much better than like what was I doing and I think I just like have too many oils on I can't do that before I do makeup. So anyways, I'm gonna try this the glazing milk I don't know. Let me know what you guys think and then I ordered the skinny confidential um, Body what is this called? I don't know. Let's see. Yes. The body sculptor, the spoon. I just know I'm going to love this because I just know I will. I love everything that they do. But like, oh my God, I'm actually going to do it like after every shower. I feel like dry brushing. It's just like, it's so annoying when you tan. And then like the paddles and stuff I don't like, but this I love. So I will be using this all the time, especially with travel. It's so much easier to pack. Whatever. I already know that it's gonna work and be great. I keep hearing my phone ring and it's right here and it's not ringing. So, um, I'm just gonna be cleaning up my house and prepping. Jess is gonna come over today. We're gonna go to the pool and then tonight we've got some plans. I'm gonna try that Anchor Bar Sushi place. By the way, I don't know if I even talked about this in the vlog. The sushi place though that I went to in West Village, um, posted on Instagram. It was so good. Like some of the best sushi I think I've ever had, honestly. It was just so good. Oh, exciting. Chlorine tabs to the pool. <laughs> I know you guys are really excited to see that one. Cool. The dark spot serum, and this is sunscreen. Awesome. My hats for a friend of mine, the corduroy ones are so amazing. They're supposed to get sent to the warehouse. They got sent to me, so I'm just to the warehouse this week. Those will be coming out soon. Also my Texas hat, merch hat, with Dear Media is out now. It's camo, it's so cute. I'm just like really in my hot era these days. So anyways, I ordered Chop Shop for breakfast. I know like no one is surprised and I take Fitz to the vet because he has a really bad hot spot. So I'm on dog mom duties today. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love y'all so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye. I record a podcast for a living, right? Um, Macy and I recorded an entire podcast episode called like Chaotic Girl Summer. And that's what we literally named the summer. And I somehow had amnesia, okay? I didn't remember a s one single time saying that. So I was acting like when I turned 26 in August that I invented this whole I want to add chaos into my life. Like I completely blacked that out after Macy and I talked about it for months and recorded multiple podcast episodes about it. And I just, no, out of sight, out of mind. I said, guys, I'm turning 26 and now we are channeling chaos. Like what was I thinking, you know? So anyways, um, no, I've definitely actually done that. I've, I've channeled chaos in, in a peaceful way. That's more of my vibe. I feel like 